11.55, almost midnight. Enough time for one more story. One more story before 12. Just to keep us warm. In five minutes, it'll be the 21st of April. 100 years ago on the 21st of April, out in the waters around Spivey Point, a small clipper ship drew toward land. Suddenly, out of the night, the fog rolled in. For a moment, they could see nothing, not a foot ahead of them. And then they saw a light. By God, it was a fire burning on the shore, strong enough to penetrate the swirling mist. They steered a course toward the light, but it was a campfire like this one. The ship crashed against the rocks. The hull sheared in two, the mast snapped like a twig, and the wreckage sank, and all the men aboard. Bottom of the sea lay the Elizabeth Dane with her crew, their lungs filled with salt water, their eyes open and staring into the darkness. And above, as suddenly as it had come, the fog lifted, receded back across the ocean, and never came again. But it is told by the fishermen and their fathers and grandfathers that when the fog returns to Antonio Bay, the men at the bottom of the sea, out in the water by Spivey Point, will rise up and search for the campfire that led them to their dark and icy death. Twelve o'clock, the 21st of 